Hello and welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator, and in this video we are at Arcorp, uh, Area 18, it's Tacitism for 3.17, it's a miracle I have managed to make it work. Overall, over the past 24 hours, Star Citizen has only worked in the PTU for me for a mere 6 minutes. It's been almost impossible to get it started, uh, or sometimes I can just get in the game for 2 minutes and then I get a 30k error, and then I try to come back and it's a 60 carer and it just doesn't want to start again I get a, tr a crash to desktop every time it comes back so yeah it's a rough patch I would say 3.17 right now I think uh, yesterday uh, not a couple of days ago uh, content creators some content creators were told that this was not content creation worthy and well I mean for an edited video like this I think it's okay but that would definitely not be using it for live streams for sure anyway so in this video we're going to try to find out where the coffee vendor is it's one of the features of star citizen of 3.17 at least it is on the roadmap and i just got off uh, area 2 it is not here these are lots of other vendors pizza vendor uh, craft beer vendor burrito vendor noodle vendors well unfortunately those vendors are still not interactable. Jared did say in an episode of Inside Star Citizen that the coffee vendor at Area 18 was just some work for some new animators to... Oh, oh dear. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. well, uh, <laughs> Area 18, right, has always uh, shown its true colors. <laughs> anyway, so uh, since it looks like there is no coffee vendor here, at Area 18, we are going to Riker Memorial Spaceport and maybe we'll get a little bit luckier there. By the way, I have noticed that here, at least on Area 18, the frames per second are a little bit better than at Lorville. I've also noticed that the game does look better as well. I really wonder if there was some kind of lightning optimization once again done. Every time the devs at CIG always try to bring extra optimization when it comes to lightning in order to improve performance as well bringing better effect while having a lesser impact on your CPU or GPU. This is what being an alpha also is all about. Those little details that are going to make the game run a little bit better, right? So, here we go, uh, back at uh, Riker Memorial Hall Spaceport. And where are we going to hide a coffee vendor here? Since it's obviously not in the city. I really wonder if it's only one coffee vendor because we got plenty of barmen. But do we only have one coffee vendor in the world in the in in the verse? Well, let's have a look here. There is a VIP lounge that will be the that's the place where you do the rentals. So. It's obviously not here, but on the other side you have a lounge where uh, it's like a VIP lounge. It would make sense to have a coffee vendor here. And let's have a look. We still have those very comfy looking sofa chairs, the coffee machines, uh, uninteractable coffee mugs, but no coffee vendor here. Unfortunately, well, uh, I guess we'll go a little bit deeper into the spaceport. These are going to be... Uh, oh! Hmm, could that have been the coffee vendor? There are no NPCs here. These are the elevators here. Now, that looks like a stand that has not spawned. Yeah, I mean, I just jumped over an invisible span. There's some kind, some kind of, uh, of smoke in there as well. Definitely looks like this is the coffee vendor place, guys. So there we have it. We know where the coffee vendor is here at Area 18. But, well, <laughs> obviously that's the PTU. Now this, this, in my opinion, this is exactly why this should not have gone into PDU and stayed in Evo Caddy because these are the kind of visuals that Cloud Imperial Games don't want to see on the internet. But hey, you know, I'm doing my job as a content creator. I am showing you guys the way that it is, and that's why, uh, well, <laughs> uh, we're still um, quite a ways off Star Citizen being go being into the the live release. I, I don't even know why this is even part of the I don't even know why this is even part of the PTU. This should have never made its way into the PTU. Anyway, I really wonder if I can interact with the vendor that has not spawned. Because it does seem like when I get a bit closer. And let's have a look. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, look at that. I can have Fizz, Triple Berry, Coffee, Pips 820, Pips Q66, Flood Energy, Synergy IS, and Synergy Sport. I guess that these are bottles of, uh, of water, right? So only one coffee, and the others seem to be soft drinks. So I guess I will be trying again when this is going to be working a little better, guys. That's it for this video. Quick video, we know now where the coffee vendor is. It is right by the elevator at the spaceport. So when we have a new patch, we'll be trying this out again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the DJ Dunn, Eric Own, Dr. Forbin, Citizen, uh, Geek Citizen, sorry, and also Captain Snake. It's been the Eradicator. I will see you guys later. A huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on Patreon and via the YouTube Joint Membership Program. Creating content on YouTube involves continuous circles of ups and downs, and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.